Hey guys, it's Ethan Frank with Irish Dancing Magazine, and I am here for this Friday's episode of Inside Irish Dancing with me, Ethan Frank. Um, so we have a very special guest joining soon. Um, so stay tuned for this interview. Let me add her to the live stream. Let's see. Hey guys. Hey! Hi! Okay, everyone, I am here with the amazing Grace Reynolds. So just take a minute to introduce yourself because there's so many things to introduce. Hi, um, I'm Grace Reynolds. If you don't know me, I dance with Cleary Irish Dance in California, and I'm 16 years old, so I'm under 17. Awesome. And so Grace here is a seven-time Western Region Aractus champion and two-time national champion, two times world medal holder, and has also been top 10 in the world. So, I mean, that's just crazy. So many amazing achievements. So um, so my, oh, and then for everyone viewing, sorry, I completely forgot to say this. Um, if anyone has any questions for Grace, feel free to leave them in the comments and we will answer those at the end. Okay, so for my first question for you, Grace, how are you doing right now um, with balancing your life and COVID? Um, okay, so, well, yeah, I would be lying to say if uh, that I was perfect, but I'm getting through it. Um, and it obviously really disappoints me to miss an entire cycle of competition. Um, but on the brighter side, I've learned how to drive on mostly empty streets because I just got my driver's license. Awesome. That's so great. Okay. Um, now, as I already said, you have had so many amazing results. So you must have some sort of pressure on you to stay at the top. Um, how do you deal with that and really, you know, turn it into motivation? Um, yeah, like you said, it's so super hard um, trying to stay on my best game. But I would say the number one thing I need to remember is that I can only control myself. Um, and so if I like, I just need to keep the focus on doing the best that I can without worrying about my competition or what anyone else thinks of my dancing. Yes, no, I 100% agree. I mean, the best thing that you can do is believe in yourself and that'll get you I mean, clearly has gotten you, you know, so far. Um, so that's amazing. Um, so out of all of those amazing accomplishments, what is the most special or which one is the most special to you? Um, uh, I would probably say my first Nationals win in 2017 um, because I especially remember that season being difficult. Um, I don't know. My dancing was really only coming together in the past, uh, in the last week before it. Like I sort of had a, an aha moment with my coach, Katie Dean. Um, and we, I, we both came in every single day that last week and we just drilled it so much. And, um, and, and, Previously, I placed seventh, so I was just hoping to get top five that year. Um, and so winning was like super special, and I just felt like I was on top of the world. That is so amazing. Um, so obviously, that's one of those amazing moments. And to contrast that, what has been one of the most difficult moments so far in your dancing career? Um, I would say the most difficult moment was um, 2018 because I pulled my hip flexor. Um, like two or three weeks before the Worlds. Um, and I was so devastated because obviously I'd worked so hard um, c leading up to the Worlds. I had already done all the training. Um, and so when I pulled my hip flexor, I was just so sad um, to be missing solos, but at least I was still able to dance with my teams. Um, and that was really a, a good thing. Um, but then also, I would say a silver lining that came out of it was I was able to like, reassess my goals for the next season, which was nationals. So I had like an extra, I had just an extra time to prepare for nationals. And I would say that paid off also. Awesome. Um, so obviously, and someone kind of already asked this, um, they asked, <laughs> where are you practicing right now that everything's closed? But, you know, Dancers are in such a different situation right now than we were a year ago. I mean, the whole Irish dance world has been turned upside down. Um, either your practice space or what tips and tricks have you been using to really still make your practice count? 
Um, well, I would say as a school, Cleary, um, well, the championship class, we've been sort of going back to the basics. So um, because we're in such a small space, like not everyone has a giant dance studio at home. So um, it's really been a, a good opportunity to perfect our footwork, um, especially like our turnout and our cross and our rhythm and stuff like that, rather than stretching in the big studio. Um, but obviously when we get back into the studio, um, we'll be able to stretch out and stuff like that. Awesome. So, yeah, okay. yeah, so I totally, like, I totally agree. Like, everyone who I've interviewed um, so far has talked about how important it is to really go back to, to the basics. Yeah. And I couldn't agree more because, I mean, it, it, it's almost nice in a way to kind of have some time to reassess your dancing mm -hmm. and Definitely. to kind of take a deep breath and then just work along at things. Um, so yes. I can totally see how, you know, that has been helping you and everyone at your school. Yeah. Um, so nextly, who are some of your biggest inspirations? Oh, um, okay. So two of the dancers I look up to the most are um, Murray Trainer and London Noftigal. They're just both phenomenal. I love watching them dance. It's so amazing. Um, I love their style and their sharpness and their rhythm. Um, but then also outside of dance, um, I would say RBG, um, just because she's done so much for everyone, including women, uh, particularly women. Um, and then, I mean, like she beat cancer three times. She kept working until like the end. Um, and then also um, a little fun fact that my new dress, it actually has like the RBG descent collar on it. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that, but I, I just That's thought so that was cute. really cool. Yeah. That's so special. Just like a little like motivational piece on your costume. I love that. I did not notice that. That is so awesome though. Um, so what are some of the goals and dreams that you're working towards right now? Obviously, I, I know that we don't necessarily know when the next competition is going to be. Um, but so what are you working towards? Um, well, obviously, like you said, um, competitions are put on hold right now. But um, I'm really hoping that the world and national season will be able to have it um, in July. Um, so I'm working on that right now. Um, but then also school related, I'm a junior in high school. So I'm starting the whole college process, um, which is sort of scary. Um, but I'm like looking at, I don't know, a couple of UCs and other schools um, like in the Pacific Northwest and New England, especially. So yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I understand that that can be stressful, but you got this. There's no, there's no reason to worry. So what is your pre competition routine? Is there anything special or any superstitions you have? Um, I don't really have any superstitions. Um, I definitely have a routine, though. Um, so I usually tan two at least two nights. Um, ahead of when I'm going to dance so my legs have time to dry um, and it also like so I'm not as stressed you know um, the night before and then um, I would say like for dinner I would have a hearty dinner but not too big um, and balanced well balanced and then obviously I get to sleep early and then um, as you know depending on what time our competitions start I'll get up accordingly and then um, I always do my own hair and makeup um, I don't know I just I've, I've usually done it like that. So, um, yeah. And then for breakfast, I usually don't have too big of a breakfast, um, even though my parents usually make me uh, have some food at least, which is good. Um, but I usually would have like a little muffin or a fruit, uh, like banana or apple or something. And then, um, and then when I warm up, I always warm up with my friends. Um, I think we all just lower each other's stress levels um and i'm really lucky because my age group at cleary there's like five of us so we have like a little um age group thing that we always um, warm up together um and then after warming up we just stretch out and then uh, like run through our rotation a little bit before we have to put on our shoes and go go dance on stage that's awesome. And that's so cool that you have, you know, a little support system within your age group, like within your school. Yeah. Not many people get to experience that. So that's amazing. Yeah, I'm really lucky. <laughs> so what is your advice to dancers that are still stuck, you know, in quarantine and can't really do anything? 
Um, well, I'd say I'm in the same boat as you, like California's COVID levels are way above everyone else. But um, anyways, I would say keep your body fit and your mind motivated because I think your mind game is so crucial. Uh, it's like almost, it's so crucial to your dancing. Um, and I would also say talk to your coaches and your friends um, because they just help so much. If you're having like a little mental breakdown, they can calm you down and they'll just push you forward. And then also, um, we have like my friends at Cleary, we have a group chat for like stretching every afternoon, um, that we just stretch together. And it's a nice way to, I don't know, hang out every day and also getting something productive done, <laughs> like stretching. That's actually really cool. I know, um, I forget who it was, I interviewed someone else and they were saying how they had a group chat and they learned that they did like different like workouts or exercises per week. Yeah. So that's really cool that you're doing stretches. I, I love that because I think like you said, it's so important to stay motivated right now. And it really all, I mean, obviously dancing is partly physical, but it's big part mind game right now to push yeah. through this difficult time. Big part. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, so my last question I've set here, and then we'll go through questions from all of our viewers. Um, okay. But how important would you say having a good support system is? And who is your support system? And how do they help you? Um, well, obviously, a good support system is crucial in Irish dancing. And my number one support system uh, is my coaches, Maggie and Katie. Um, I've known them for almost 10 years now. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Um, and we've been together through highs and lows, obviously, um, even before COVID. Um, so, and they just know me so well. Um, and then also definitely my parents, because they're always going to be there no matter what, um, pushing me. And then definitely my friends also, um, like I said before, where we just have such a good community at Cleary. Um, we're always, I'm sorry, <clears throat> we're always supporting You're each fine. other no matter what. Um, and we're helping each other dance better. And we're helping each other get through this pandemic um, as a team. And I don't know what I would do without them. That is so amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go through all of our questions we have here. The first question from Martha is, mm -hmm. what are your tips for keeping your arms in? Um, well, I struggle with this sometimes too. Um, I actually hold on to an old plastic, uh, an old trash bag. Um, and I just, um, yeah, I just hold on to them, um, to train my arms into being at my side, but I'm, that's a big thing that I have to work on myself. myself. Mood. I felt that. Okay. Um, <laughs> how do you balance your dance and school schedule, um, either before or after the pandemic? Um, well, it's obviously been, um, well, the pandemic has been really hard, um, but I would say a silver lining is that I don't have to travel to school, so it's not taking up that time. So I have more time for, for schoolwork, and then I have also more time for dancing because um, right now we have sort of a hybrid going on. Um, we have, uh, during the week, we're at home, and that takes out a whole hour of my night, sometimes when I actually have to go in. So it just um, helps me, yeah, it, it's helped me a lot um, cutting out that extra time. But then, um, I, yeah, I would say school is my number one priority, um, just because, yeah. Um, but then, obviously, dance is still, <laughs> because I love dance. Yes, no, I get that. Especially when you're, you know, going into your senior year in college. It's like you love both, but sometimes you just have to put school, you know, yes, first, definitely. which I totally understand. Now, Shannon wants to know your favorite move. Um, my favorite move? Uh, in soft shoes, uh, I would say birdies. Um, I love birdies. Um, and then in hard shoe, um, maybe rocks or like point work. I, I like point work a lot, too. <laughs> Awesome. And then do you prefer hard shoe or soft shoe dances? I prefer soft shoe dances. Awesome. Let me see if there's any other questions. Um, those are all of our questions. Thank you so much 
for being here, Grace. This is such an amazing interview. And I think your knowledge um, can inspire so many other dancers to keep going, you know, during a time that isn't the easiest. So I'm wishing you the best of luck over Thanks. the next few months. We'll cross our fingers to be at Nationals and Worlds. Yes. And yes, you got this. Thank you so much for being with here, being here today. Thank you so much for having me. It was really Of enjoyable. course. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Bye.